We're Hannah and Chad, full-time RVers who love to travel and are in the midst of paying off $153,000 in debt. This is our debt-free journey. All right, we are back in. So what I did is I just went to the roof here and popped my top to my vent and pushed the screen down. And with the guy's hook, the his name was Chad too, so that was cool. But anyways, so I just reached down with his hook and my hand through the vent and popped the lock on the passenger door. So it reached all the way down and opened it up. And he didn't charge me anything because he didn't do anything. But since he let me use his hook to do it, I gave him 15 bucks and he was happy with that. And I was happy with that. So now we're going over to Walmart, which is right over there. And we're going to get some spares made so this doesn't happen again. All right, so we went to Walmart, got some spare keys made.
right, so um, we made it to Mount Juliet. We made it here just in time, basically, this morning. Um, we volunteered to be greeters at uh, Cross Point Church, which is going to be our uh, home church here. And we were supposed to be here by 1030 um, to be greeters. And we, I think we were in the parking lot by 1030. By the time we found um, our contact person um, at the church, it was like 1034. So basically on time. But we literally drove right into the parking lot, jumped out and ran inside. Um, we stayed at a hotel last night. Um, well, I should say this morning, because I think we pulled in around like 1 or 1.30 a.m. But, um, so we stayed there and then uh, left there shortly after 8 o'clock this morning and then drove straight to Mount Juliet. And so anyways, so we did church. That was good. That was great. Um, and then we just got, we just left there. Um, and we're heading to the KOA, which is where we're going to stay for probably a week at least. Um, unless we could find somebody that would allow us to park on their property, which is what we're really hoping for. So anyways, so we're going to go to the KOA and stay there for a week. Um, but on our way, um, I was following Hannah and she had the directions going. Well, she thought it was telling her to turn left and maybe it was, but it took her on to I-40 instead of this frontage road that runs parallel with I-40. So she went off that way and then took another wrong turn and then was heading for Texas. So hopefully she's turned around now and on her way back. But there's just a little park and ride parking lot here off the frontage road. So um, I just pulled over here to wait for her. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just waiting for Hannah. So as soon as she gets back, we'll continue our way over to the KOA and get parked. Um, we'll probably run and grab some lunch and then head back to the KOA um, to grab the RV to go deliver some stuff we brought down for a friend of mine. Uh, she lives uh, like, I think it was like 20 miles from here. So like 25 minutes away. I just discovered some button underneath here that I have no idea what it's to. That's very interesting. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. Anyways, we'll check back in with you later. So this is our setup here for the next week. Uh, little parking spot here at the KOA. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up below if you liked this video and hit subscribe for more like it. Also, make sure to check out rdebtfreejourney.com.